Help me guard my heart diligently because what I allow in my heart shapes my life. I want my life to be shaped by your word and by your spirit. Please break in with your perspective of things that I am not seeing clearly. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Father, we love you so much and we give you praise. We honor you because you are the most high God. You care for us so deeply cared for us so much that you gave your life down for us. You laid your life down for us. Help us to lay our lives down for you. Help us to be living sacrifices, leaving epistles right of all men. Help us to get our minds right, to get our mouth right, to get our needs right. We want to walk like who we are, as Jesus was, as Jesus is. We are in this world. We are filled with your spirit. Thank you for filling us with your spirit. Thank you that we are hosts of the kingdom of heaven. Would you give us a revelation of who we really are, Lord, and what we carry? Would you give us the right perspective on what to see, what we see? Would you give us an eternal perspective, Lord? Would you help us to see through the eyes of peace in every situation? Would you help us to see with the eyes of love with people when people do us wrong? Help us to see with your eyes of joy when misery comes knocking at my door. Day by day, be diligent to sow to the Spirit and keep our minds on the Word. Meditate day and night to be careful to do all that it says. And as we do that, we make our way process. To help us to align our thoughts with your thoughts, our feelings with your feelings, our emotions with your emotions. That we may tune into the frequency of heaven, that we may shut out every demonic voice that would try to override and overrun your will in our lives. Would you help us, Father God? Show us, Father God. Show us, Lord, where to go. Teach us what to say, what to do, how to feel. Help us to recognize when our perspective has been skewed by demonic forces. When our perspective has been adulterated by our unrenewed mind. By trauma. Thank you, Lord, that we get to have access to all wisdom, all peace, and all joy. We have access to all the resources of heaven. You have blessed us according to your word, but every spiritual blessing in heaven what else would you not do for us you've already got it help us to tap in into what you have done and what we are help us to anchor our hearts into eternity that we are not swayed by the challenges that we face lord you see what the enemy does you see the problems that we cause ourselves you see the problems that other people in their carnal mentalities cause for us we do not want to be moved by what we see with our natural eyes. We want to be moved by your spirit. We want to, be, we want to walk according to your spirit, not according to the lust of the flesh. We, Lord, we want to keep our mind onto things of the spirit and not to things of this world. Would you help us to make that shift? Would you help us, Lord? Would you help us to make fix our eyes on you so that we can walk in perfect peace? You are the author of our faith. You are the finisher of our faith. Help us not to be distracted, overwhelmed, set back by burning concerns and just dread. Help us to prioritize your kingdom above all else. You tell us in your word to seek you first, the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And you said when we do that, everything else that we need will be added to us. And you are not a man that you should lie. So help us, Lord, to make you our priority. Help us to make you our number one priority. Help us, Lord, to make you our priority. Above the sleep, about, above everything, Lord, above everything. You are the greater one. Open our eyes to the big picture, to the big picture. Help us to remember that the setbacks are temporary. It doesn't represent our future. You are our future. You are our hope. Christ in us, the hope of glory. That is who we are. That is who you are. 
Help us to maintain a gratitude of an attitude of gratitude in the name of Jesus. 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 Now we tear down every stronghold of deception that comes down and distorts our perspective in the name of Jesus. We bind up and cast down every spirit of confusion and error that seeks to lead us away from God's way. We declare that our mind is alive with the mind of Christ and we reject every lie of the enemy that tries to come into our thoughts. In Jesus' name, we say by the power of the Holy Spirit, even now, the Mighty One, the Son of God, we pull down every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God in our lives. We command every veil of darkness that flies, that covers our spiritual sight to be lifted now in the name of Jesus. We renounce every false perspective that the enemy has tried to impose upon us and we choose to seek, see through the lens of God's word. In the name of Jesus, we rebuke the spirit of fear, a fear of anxiety that causes us to see uh, and feel and sense situations through a spirit of dread, of fear, anxiety. We declare that every false narrative that the enemy has planted in our mind is exposed and uprooted by the truth of God's word in the name of Jesus. We take authority over the spirit of discouragement that distorts our perspective and we command it to loose us now in the name of Jesus. We command every power of negative mindset that is bound to earthly perspectives. We say, Lord, help us to focus on what you have done in us, the work that you have done in us. We speak to every mountain of doubt and unbelief that is holding us back from our best life. We cast it to the sea in Jesus' name. We plead the blood of Jesus over our minds. We declare that no weapon formed against our thoughts shall prosper. We reject every spirit of confusion and double-mindedness that tries to cloud our judgment and decision-making in the name of Jesus. We take every thought captive and make it obedient to Christ. We reject every thought that does not align with God, with the Word of God, in the name of Jesus. We declare that our mind is set on the Lord. We command every spirit of deception that, that tries to influence our perspective to be silenced now, in the name of Jesus. We declare that we will not be conformed to this world, but we will continually be transforming by the renewing of our mind through the Word of God. In Jesus' name, amen. We declare that we will see every situation through the clarity and for the truth of the Lord God Almighty. We rebuke every spirit of timidity, of anxiety that tries to skew our perspective and we focus on what is true, what is noble, what is praiseworthy, what is honorable, what is of a good report in Jesus' name. We cast down every spirit of falsehood that tries to come in as truth in our lives in the name of Jesus. We break the power of every lie that is coming to our mind and we tr replace it with truth with God's promises that never fail in Jesus name we declare that we will never we will not be swayed by the enemy's schemes we will stand firm in the truth of God's word we are unshakable by faith and not by sight and we renounce every perspective that leads to despair to anxiety to fear and we declare the joy of the Lord is our strength and we command every spirit of harassment that Clouds are perspective to be lifted now in the name of Jesus. We declare that our mind is protected by the helmet of salvation. And we will not entertain any thoughts that are not of God in the name of Jesus. We take authority over every spirit of doubt. And we declare that our faith is strong and non-wavering in God's promises. Our faith is established and we shall not be moved in the name of Jesus. We declare that we are above and not beneath. 
We declare that we, and command every spirit of distraction that comes to skew our focus from God's perspective must leave our presence now in the name of Jesus. We give you, Lord, we give you praise and we declare that the peace of God guards our hearts and mind in Christ Jesus. And we will not be shaken by enemy onslaughts, enemy attacks, enemy arrows, witchcraft attacks and confederates in the name of Jesus. We declare that our mind is filled with the light of God's truth and we will not be swayed by the dark enemy's lies. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen and amen.